What is up? I'm Warren Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon opening. As you can see, we're going to be opening up two of these uh, lunchbox things, and this is featuring the Armored Mewtwo. I would say that is the primary reason we're doing these opening. this opening. Um, typically not a huge fan of these lunchbox collections. I feel like they're kind of overpriced, has a lot of random stuff in it. And the pack selection is, this one looks like it might be okay. Looks like we got a couple team up. Then a Guardians Rising and Evolution, so that's not that good. And then a Unified Minds, which is okay. Uh, and it does feature some cool promos, though, so that's primarily what we're doing this for. And we'll kind of give our thoughts on this product and whether we think it's worth it. Uh, probably not. Uh, not sure why Mew and Mewtwo are in this, because the promos are Pikachu, Charizard, and Armored Mewtwo. They must just be relevant in the movie. So, all right, we got two of these to crack open. Let's begin. All right, so I did open up the box. Actually, I opened the first one, and this one I figured we'll kind of unbox together just so you have an idea. A uh, couple of good, uh, positive and negatives. First off, pack selection was not what I was expected. Um, so actually, the two team up are actually Cosmic Eclipse, which is, that's fine. Although I was kind of excited about the team up, to be honest. Looking for some more of those Jirachis. And this is what I do like. This is a good way to ship promos. Um, you do have like these little tabs, but I think because of the fact that it's in this little, I don't know, piece of plastic, it's much more, it's easier to kind of like bend things at the right angle so they just pop out nicely. Uh, so I'll do this after the fact. So I don't rush and actually damage the card. Here's the code card. I suspect it comes with that coin and those three promos. And all right, let's take a look at the random bonus items. We have pencils. This is what I mean, you know, this stuff I'm not too crazy about. Um, if kids do like it, you know, I, I, if people value it, people value it. I just am not someone that does. In fact, like, uh, yeah, if you, if you attend the same league as me and you're interested in any of these extra side things, let me know in a comment down below and I'm happy to bring it in and give it to you, even if it's this portfolio. Uh, this, this thing is not too bad, but uh, I don't, I'd be happy to hand it out to someone. Uh, stickers, sure. Guess those are cool. And a notepad to go with your pencils. And so as far as the stuff that I'm focusing on, which is just like the packs and the promos, you know, it's gonna be hard to justify this price tag, but uh, we'll give it a shot. And uh, taking a closer look at the coin, this is not bad for a coin. Then we have the three promos. This armor Mewtwo does look amazing. Uh, kind of going back to these, this concept of non-GX, non-EX, kind of like full art cards, which I'm actually fully behind. And that Mewtwo does look really cool. Terrible card though, 120 HP. Uh, the Psychic Ray 3 energy, 130 damage, you can't use this attack this turn. Pikachu, okay, 60 HP, quick attack, uh, can do 20 and yeah, this is terrible but uh, really cool looking art. This Charizard is not bad. I believe this is the same Charizard as the, is it the team up one? Yeah, two, two damage attached to energy. Fireball can do like a 30 plus each fire energy you discard. So pretty cool on the promo side, as far as these lunchbox collections in the past, I would say promos are above average. And all right, let's get into some of these packs. We have 10 packs all together. We'll do the evolutions then the Guardians Rising, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse. Start with the XY. So it feels like some of the more recent products actually are have stopped shipping the XY stuff. And uh, we'll see if that is going to stay that way. I think I, I don't terribly mind the XY packs, but I do think it detracts from the value of the products, or I would place higher value if they didn't have them. All right, but let's see if we can't get something good. Doduo, Staryu, Onyx, Energy, another Doduo is a reverse. All right, we got a Mewtwo, not terrible. Just fix my piles real quick. All right, so quick reminder, we are doing a giveaway right now. So um, be sure to check out, whoa, 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 what? Oh, it's kind of sticky. Be sure to check out our video from uh, Wednesday and make sure you do enter to win a 
either a Hidden Fates or a Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer Box. And if you're based out of the US, I will ship you the box. If you're international, we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll just send the packs or something because I imagine we'll save, be able to save a little bit on shipping in that fashion. Reverse Zapdos is pretty cool. And then Farfetch'd. I don't like that this guy is a rare. And I keep missing up my piles. All right, on to Guardians Rising. I believe these cards are rotated out as it's Celestial Storm in later. All right, let's see. Electric Energy, Sableye, oh. Marini, Aqua Patch. That's actually a pretty cool card. Put it off to the side. Litwick, Geodude, Plagar, Bell Sprout, Choice Band Reverse. Another cool card. And then a Wish Cash. So, as you can tell, yeah, we still have that big light, and I haven't figured out how to do the face cam again without this, like, I don't know, bright as the sun light showing up. So I've just been uh, kind of like editing out the face cam. And all right, this is our rare slot and looks like there is a Nick. So I'm not happy about that. Hopefully nothing too good was damaged. Field blowers, pretty good card. Pseudo Wudo, Lampent, Wishy Washy, Slowpoke, Stuffle, a Salandit, Mudbray, Politoed. And Turinator, I do like that art. So, uh, yeah, this product, um, I do like the promos, but definitely if if uh, you ask me, like, oh, is it worth it to buy it for the promos, or should I just pick them on the singles market? Um, that almost 99% of the time, just pick it up off the singles market, and this is definitely no exception. Especially when, uh, you know, two of the packs, they're not even in rotation, so that kind of, like, lessens the value right off the bat. Weakness Guard Energy is pretty good. I feel like a lot of people use that for Mewtwo as it kind of helps with a lot of the matchups like Malamar and stuff like that. Alright, Hone Edge Pikachu. A Cubone. Love Cubone. Ooh, okay, we got a Rowlet and Alolan Executor. We will take it. This is one of the funnier hearts. It's like, I was like, oh, okay, that's that's him. It's like, no, that's his butt or whatever. <laughs> All right, second Unified Minds pack. So we did get one hit, and it was a full art. Pretty happy about that. It's always good when you don't get completely shut out when you open, like, double-digit packs. That's the worst. Sometimes I'm like, oh, do I even post this? All right, let's see. Musharna. Always a weird Pokemon. Uh, Dragonair. Ooh, Tortuga. There we go. All right, opening just got a little bit better. Snowrunt. Drillbur. A Dwebble. Bit of a mana. Tynamo is our reverse. Wow! That's amazing. We got a hyper rare Naganadal GX and uh, it's a little off center. I think I'll actually use this in my uh, Reshiram deck where I do have one of those that you can red and blue into and then use it for card draw with the Ultra Conversion. Alright, this particular boxes are catching up fast. And as far as the packs that we whiffed on, if we could pick which packs we whiffed on, it would be those two. So things are looking up all of a sudden. Uh, overall though, I'm still kind of uh, very hesitant to say this is a good product. But hey, good promos and good pulls is basically how you make up for it. And we are, we have both of those already. But uh, alright, onto Cosmic Eclipse, Helioptile. Iggly Buff is our reverse, and then oh my gosh, Bunnelby full art. Wow, we, we ran out of space in the background. Move this a little bit, and you can go over here. So three for three on the packs that matter. Uh, sorry for that glare on the right side. All of a sudden, we're making this look easy. And as always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Delsclops, Larvesta, Floet, Scrop. Oh, so I have been, I do go to leagues on Wednesday, and um, I've been trying to record matches to hopefully create some cool content for you guys. But uh, I had a amazing match. I was up against a Dustnor Trevenant, not this card, but uh, Dustnor Trevenant, and I was playing a baby's deck. 
and it came down to the wire where I have to get, you know, the the hat girls, I guess, so I can refer to them from the, was it the Mason or something? And uh, to basically ramp up the the babies. And then, he, but my opponent kept uh, kept taking all the cards out of my hand via reset stamp via Trevenant Dust Noir, but I did manage to pull it off on like basically the last turn I could. I was like, oh my gosh, this was an epic match. I'm totally going to use this content. And then we looked at the, the phone. It's like, it's not even recording. <laughs> so I was very disappointed with that. Ponyard. And then Sunflora. So things definitely have cooled down. But not only did we get three hits, but we got high rarities. We got a hyper rare and two full arts. I mean, sometimes that's all you get out of a box. I mean, obviously you get like a bunch of GXs as well, but those, those would be like the main hits or the biggest hits out of a booster box. So definitely we got some very strong pulls out of this. These two lunch boxes, Lily's Poke Doll, very cool card. Do use that in the baby's deck just to give some more time. Basically using Lapras to uh, miss, these, uh, miss these requests over and over again. Red and blue reverse. I do like that. And then just a whaler in. So, um I would I'm very happy with the results of this opening, but whether or not I'd recommend this product, I would lean towards a no. If you do like the promos or like you really want to get your hands on this card, I, I would say that actually all three of them are pretty good. This Charizard's cool. The Pikachu is a little underwhelming, but you know, there's so many promo Pikachu's. Uh, but for polls, we did get a Mega Lopney. This seems to be like a one of in so many decks. A Tortuga, we always want as many of these cute turtles as we can find. Charizard, very cool promo. Actually, every once in a while I face a deck that uses these and it, they're always pretty strong. That's our big hit, Hyper Rare Naganado GX. Very useful card. I feel like even these are in some Mewtwo box decks as well. Pikachu, Armored Mewtwo, that sick promo. I'm not sure how much this costs on the secondary market, but uh, it's probably the way to go if that's all you're looking for. And then this very cool full art, Rowlet and Alolan Executor. So that's going to be it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, be sure to check out that giveaway video. We'll pick the winner. Uh, let's go with Wednesday morning of next week. So you do have a little bit of time to enter, but don't just so you don't forget, just go there now. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.